Okay, okay time, time series. series. Hello, hello. Today we are going to be animating the shoes in Adobe After Effects. We are going to make it just with one mask and then we are going to play a little bit with the offset pads to give it a little bit of secondary animation. Also I'm going to show you a more advanced technique with a lot of things going on here uh, that I'm going to show you later on. So let's jump into it. So here we are and we have this shape layer and the first thing that we are going to do is grab or select the pen tool here and start making a new shape layer with the fill disabled like this and just the stroke visible so let's keep going and don't worry about this not being perfect or not looking very good because we are going to keep like editing this shape the next thing that we are going to do is like we are going to hit enter to rename this layer and we are going to lower the opacity so that we can see what is underneath next step is cranking up the stroke width like a lot and now we are going to add here a trim paths we can add it also here through the layer through the shape layer here again trim paths and before animating it we need to see that it covers the whole shape that is underneath the shoes so we need a little bit more width here it needs to be wider and then we are going to start playing with the trim paths not animating it yet but just checking that it moves nicely so you see here these things that it does when when it's too wide this is kind of ugly so we stop there and we start like editing it and playing with the trim paths so that we check that it's always nice over at the shoes so again uh, with the pen tool selected whenever we are on top of any of the points we can edit it nicely so we keep finishing it like trying how it behaves and I think it is quite nice so now we can come here and crank up again the opacity to 100 and we are going to tell the shoes shape layer to take the alpha from the layer on top which is our mask and we go back to the trim paths and now it's time to animating it let's say that we want an animation of one second something like that so here at end we put a keyframe or we set a keyframe and we go to the beginning here of the timeline and we set it to zero so now we have this animation but we want it to be like accelerating okay because we think it's going to be cool that it accelerates towards the end of the animation so we achieve that just by creating here an easy ease keyframe so if we go to the graph editor here and with the, this keyframe selected we can hit here or we also can hit F9 and we start dealing with this handle here and also this one we need to convert to an easy ease and we need to set it like this so that it starts very slow and then with this in the part when it's a very abrupt change you see here here is like less than 50 percent and here is 100 that is like it's accelerating very rapidly so this is very nice and now i'm going to add the secondary animation let's close this graph editor 
to the layer underneath which is our source so here we're going to add an offset patch this one here and we are going to set it to zero with our mask selected we hit U so that we see where the animation ends on top and we are going to set here a keyframe and at the beginning like here for example we are going to set it to for example minus 10 and we check how it works and we are going to extend it a little bit and hit F and easy is keyframe And we are going to preview it. That's very nice. We can even extend a little bit this secondary animation. You see? And we are going to finesse it a little bit just by dragging this handle here so that the end is more smooth. And that was it. Again, you create a mask with just the stroke and then we create this offset patch animation. So if we disable this, we can check it again. Very, very nice. And then for the advanced version, uh, the difference here is that in the mask I play a lot with this tapper option here so that means that you can this is kind of complicated and does some ugly stuff sometimes but you can play with a, a stroke that is not even like half like the beginning is like uh, thinner and you know it's thicker here so it's kind of nice but then I needed to create like a copy of this so that we avoid that problem that we had here in this part of the animation so it was kind of complicated and also like I animated the paths of the actual shrews so that it gives a more elaborated secondary animation if this would be a professional project, I would make like a third pass, like this stuff here. This is not acceptable in a <laughs> professional project. I would be cleaning it frame by frame as much as possible. But just as an exercise, I think it is pretty cool. So try it out. I think, I mean, always animating a very famous logo is super nice. It's a super nice exercise, so give it a try and let me know in the comments if you liked this tutorial. See you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series.